sir please start yeah so good morning uh, dear all uh, cadilla pharma welcomes you on board for today's scientific session and this scientific session awareness program we have started uh, ever since the pandemic the started this is 85th uh, session most uh, 85 sessions completed this is a 85th so this is brings to the awareness program on the uh, medical non medical people so bringing the specialist on board and uh, making the people to aware about the skin and it is its model and protections may is the month for celebrations why because the sunscreen day happens in the may itself and 27 may is the sunscreen day we need to protect our skin from the harmful rays of this sun on the eve of sunscreen day we have a topic called heat is on stay uv protected the today's topic to deal with a great renowned a young and dynamic dr aparna krishnappa so most amazing doctor uh, having a aesthetic clinic so wonderful clinic which i ever seen in the country most wonderful clinic she is having and dealing with the patients so a consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist from hyderabad is going to share with the knowledge authentic and updated knowledge so i here with the program is started from our office and telecasting from our office so the topic as i have already discussed that is because of national sunscreen day we have a topic on heat is on and stay you next this academia continues to have the summer and the sunscreens that today's program next so this is how our uh, corporate office looks i am lakshmi narayana uh, hod cadilla pharmaceuticals so live is uh, telecasting from our office at from ahmedabad the location is at but with this uh, introduction so i would request dr hitan to take forward the session so for the you. introduction of this speak yeah, yeah dr hitan over to you thank you thank you lakshmi ji uh, so on this month of uh, national sunscreen month and the national sunscreen day on 25th i would like for uh, uh, speaker for this uh, a wonderful uh, program dr aparna krishnappa she is the consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist at uh, eternal aesthetic clinic and century super specialty hospital at hyderabad she is a former consultant at uh, institute of uh, applied cosmetology and dermatology she is a member of the renowned uh, iadbl uh, uh, of india and uh, she has presented she she has presented wonderful uh, papers uh, in case series of uh, mycosis fungoids Uh, in uh, Cuticon Karnataka chapter in 2021, she has also made a wonderful uh, presentation on uh, rare cases of KID syndrome, uh, that is the keratitis uh, ichthyosis uh, deafness syndrome. Uh, very rare, rare cases uh, are there uh, in patients with rickets in KMC Mangalore, uh, the CME at 2021. Her uh, areas of interest include the PRP, that is the platelet-rich plasma, regenerative uh, activa. mesotherapy laser hair reduction fractional co2 botox chemical peels skin biopsy mole excision electrocautery glutathione injections milia extraction sebaceous cyst extraction comedone extraction so uh, with this i i i, I welcome dr aparna uh, for this uh, session on summer and sanskrit so over to you dr aparna Good morning, yeah. all. Uh, yeah. Thank you for a warm introduction. Um, hi. Uh, so, uh, so today uh, we are talking about summer and sunscreens in uh, association with the Academy of Program of Kerala Pharmaceuticals. Uh, since it's a national month, uh, sunscreen uh, national sunscreen month, uh, and May is a month where uh, we use a lot of sunscreens because it's in peak summer. So uh, today is a special day to sp- speak about sunscreen because uh, we would like to know the importance of sunscreen and how to use them, uh, and uh, spread the awareness about sunscreen uh, all over the world. So.
Ja. Uh, Ma'am, you can share the uh, slide show. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, as we all know, uh, this is the um, uh, visible light. So whatever the radiation which uh, we have from the uh, reaching the atmosphere, reaching the Earth atmosphere, is first starting with infrared, and then infrared constitutes about forty percent of the radiation, forty to fifty percent, and visible light with a wavelength of forty four hundred to seven eighty nanometer. And the one most important we all talk about is ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. So in ultraviolet, we have ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, ultraviolet C, uh, and the, the rest are uh, the uh, the rest of the radiations like X rays, mi microwaves, and uh, etc. So what we all more concerned about is ultraviolet A, B, and C. So this A, uh, UVC, which is here, which this is this gets uh, absorbed by ozone layers, which this will never reach the atmosphere. So UVB is the one, and UVA are, are the one which we are concerned about. So ultraviolet uh, compounds uh, com composes of only a small region of the electro electromagnetic radiation spectrum, which are divided against uh, again into UVC, UVB, and UVA. Um, ultraviolet A is further divided into UVA one with the nanometer uh, with the wavelength of 340 to 400 nanometer and UVA two 320 to 340 nanometer. Ozone in the Earth atmosphere is the one which absorbs 100% of the UVC, which are the most harmful radiations. So luckily we are all. Uh, uh, saved from this UVC radiation because of the ozone layer. But again, since uh, we are losing the imbalance and uh, losing the uh, uh, balance between the earth and the uh, atmosphere, uh, because of the ozone layer depletion, now again, uh, UVC can also be uh, expected in future. Approximately 90% of UVB and virtually no UVA and um, hence uh, depletion of the ozone layer has led to the substantial increase in UV transmission to the Earth's surface. So this is the picture which is showing uh, uh, the different layers of the skin where UV radiation can penetrate. So UVC is, is generally, like I said, it gets blocked by the ozone layer. So we are okay with that. But uh, then again, UVB. Um, UVB is the one which has higher radi energy radiation, which does the most immediate damage, uh, like uh, sunburns. So UVB uh, in the in the picture, what we see is that it penetrates and up till uh, epidermis and upper dermis, and. Um, UVA is the one which goes, uh, which deep uh, which has a deeper penetration, like uh, connective tissue, uh, connective tissue, and the lower dermis. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, what are the effects of solar radiation. So uh, um, there are varied responses uh, towards from the skin uh, uh, against the solar radiation. So one can, uh, what we can think about is sunburn. So sunburn is what we call from the UVB radiation, uh, which is uh, most, uh, which is the acute response to UVB rays. The varied responses in uh, inner skin again goes with DNA repair, apoptosis, and um, inflammation and differentiation. Again, which again all this can be compromised to form the immunosuppression. Again, uh, so uh, the deeper penetration again for the longer uh, longer duration causes photo aging and chronic response to UV radiation. So the first effect is the sunburn, and next um, is freckling, discoloration, photo aging, skin cancer phototoxic and photoallergic reactions, uh, which can be due to the drugs also. Uh, if the patients or the uh, individuals are, are, are on medications, they can be sensitive again to sun, as, uh, UV radiation. Photosensitivity diseases like um, uh, PMLE, solar articaria, chronic actinic dermatitis, persistent light reaction, lupus erythematosus, xeroderma pigmentosum, and albinism. Uh, there are few dermatoses, skin conditions which get aggravated by uh, because of the uh, exposure to the sun uh, uh, UV radiation, which are called as photo aggravated dermatoses. Um, one among them, a few among them are um, psoriasis, vitiligo, acne, uh, bullous, uh, bullous diseases, uh, etc. And the last one is post procedure. So uh, we do a lot of uh, ablative procedures uh, or uh, chemical peels. So when these procedures go for, uh, th they, it thins out the stratum corneum. So again, uh, direct in, uh, it becomes again a source factor for the more penetration of the UV rays. So that's why sunscreen becomes more important post-procedure. 
so let's talk about skin cancer rates are uh, uh, rates in all over the world so the probability of this getting skin cancer in 1930 was 1 in 5000 in 2004 was 1 in 65 and 2050 which can be expected 1 in 10 uh, because of the depletion of uh, uvc uh, depletion of the ozone layer and uh, making it more uh, uh, more absorption of uv rays into the earth, uh, atmosphere uh, and again skin cancer is uh, about approximately 50% of all cancer skin, uh, cancer cases it has about more than 1 million uh, cases diagnosed each each year it causes 1 person to die every year so what are the causes to cause uh, uh, increase the skin cancer rates uh, one like i said decreased ozone protection the second one is increased time in the increased exposure to the sun and then increased time of uh, increased use of tanning beds so we all know that tanning beds uh, it's just make uh, making to look that tan looks good on one person but so that they uh, they hence for they go for the tanning beds but we should always know that the natural skin color whatever they gifted uh, that looks better on them than going for the tanning beds and paying the price for it in terms of uh, skin cancer sunlight and tanning so uh, sunlight consists of three types of ultraviolet rays like i said uva uvb and uvc Uh, so uv b is the one which causes sunburns cataracts and immune system damage also causes delayed tanning uv a is the one which causes immediate uh, immediate tanning um, and uh, since india is the one which belongs to fitzpatrick type 4 and 5 um, you know, tanning is more 